hey guys so here's the video of uh, science of pregnancy i'm re-uploading it because i didn't include the new signs that are added in addition six previously so this is the video that has all the new signs added let's get started now signs of pregnancy are divided into presumptive probable and absolute or positive signs coming to presumptive signs the mnemonic goes like presume p is periods absent that is amenorrhea r is really tired e is enlarged breast s is sore breast u is increased urination and m is morning sickness and E is emesis, that is nausea and vomiting. So these comes under uh, presumptive signs of pregnancy. So if they ask you about what is uh, amenorrhea, is it presumptive, confirmatory, probable or absolute, then your answer should be presumptive sign of pregnancy. Coming to probable signs of pregnancy, first is positive pregnancy test, next is ballotment, Braxton Hicks contractions and all early signs of pregnancy. So here is the image for all early signs of pregnancy. Let us discuss the named signs later. Now let us complete the absolute signs or positive signs of pregnancy which are feeling of the fetal movements or the fetal parts at 20 weeks usually. In primary gravida it is 18 weeks and in multigravida it is 16 weeks. This is called as quickening and ultrasound confirmation and x-ray confirmation and fetal heart sounds confirmation by stethoscope or by Doppler. If it is by steth it is 18 to 20 weeks. If it is by Doppler it is 10 weeks. Usually x-rays are contraindicated in pregnancy. This is just for the theoretical purpose that is written that fetal skeleton visibility on x-ray is considered as an absolute sign of pregnancy. So this completes the prism to probable and absolute or positive signs of pregnancy. This is an overall uh, view of signs of pregnancy. Now let us uh, discuss about all the early signs of pregnancy guys. So here is the image. First let us learn the mnemonics and then come to this image. So signs of early pregnancy, there are some named signs that you need to remember. Firstly, remember one basic concept that everything that occurs in between 6 weeks to 10 weeks is all about softening. So it might be cervical softening or isthmus softening. Anything related to softening comes under uh, 6 to 10 weeks zone. So soft S for S6 that is 6 weeks. Now firstly, first sign is Goodell sign. Goodell sign, remember like the two O's in the Goodell are like cross section of the cervix. So this is how you represent cervix, right? So this is how we represent cervix in cross section. So Goodell sign is softening of cervix, which is the first sign which occurs at six weeks of pregnancy. Coming to Hager sign, Hager sign is because the product of conception is at the upper part of the uterus in the early pregnancy. So the lower part is empty and soft. That is the description of Hager sign. So when you draw an uterus and you draw a H over it, H divides the uterus into upper segment and the lower segment. So the, the slower segment of the uterus, the slower segment of the uterus is called as isthmus. So the softening of that isthmus is called as Hager sign. And remember at this junction itself, another sign called Landin sign which is newly added. So L is half of H, right? You can make L from half of H. That is some half, I mean exactly half related. That is exactly midpoint related. One sign is there. That is... When whole of the isthmus is softened, it is called as Hager sign. When midpoint of the isthmus is softened, that is called as Landin sign, which also occurs at 6 to 10 weeks. Zone. All these signs are at 6 to 10 weeks. Only Goodell sign is the earlier sign, which occurs at 6 weeks, more or less. Coming to Von Braun Farnall sign, this is also a new sign. FRF, that is fundus softening. Coming to McDonald sign, here I have got a uh, small drawing for you. Sorry for ruining this uh, McDonald soft drink. See, we'll get a straw, right? That straw has something spring mechanism here so that we can bend the upper uh, part of the straw over the lower zone. So upper part, remember it as uterus and the lower one as cervix. So the easy flexibility of the uterus over the cervix is called as McDonald's sign, guys. So these are the three new signs that were added that were not in, uh, involved in the previous video. Now I included this Landins, Von Braun Farnold and uh, McDonald's sign. Coming to the signs that occur at 8 weeks of pregnancy, guys. O.C. and der sign. Remember like dar. Dar in Hindi meaning fear, right? So when you are afraid of something, you get that pal palpitations, pulsations kind of feeling, increased pulsations. So O.C. and der, dar for fear. So pulsations felt at lateral fornix of the vagina are O.C. and der sign. And Jack Wimmer and Chadwick, remember JCB, this blue JCB here. See, Jack Wimmer and Chadwick is the bluish discoloration of the vagina or the vestibule. So JCB is the mnemonic here for Jack Wimmer and Chadwick. Coming to Piscasic sign, Piscasic sign is something related to Pichkufai or Pichku. That means chapak, uh, when, when something gets chapak like asymmetrical or damaged, we call it as Piscasics. 
pitch code. So asymmetrical enlargement of the uterus in the early pregnancy due to the lateral implantation. This is an important question. Due to the lateral implantation is called as pisca sex sign. Coming to palma sign, remember everything re related to R. That is regular rhythmic contractions. So regular rhythmic contractions of the uterus is called as palmar sign. So this is all you need to know about the named signs guys. Now let us uh, understand that diagram also. This is uh, given in a well known source that you know. Uh, although I tried to uh, cover it up, it didn't get. So you know from where I got this image now. Yeah, palmar sign is all about R's right. So regular rhythmic contractions that is done. Von Braun Fernolid F. That means irregular softening and enlargement. Something related to fundus which is softening. Okay. Then Pisca sex is pitch good. That is one half is uh, normal and one half gets asymmetrical. So one half of the uterus is firmer and the other half is not. Due to contralateral uh, implantation. Coming to Hager sign. Hager sign is this uh, H right. Dividing and so lower part. Lower part is isthmus. So softened isthmus. Coming to Landin sign. Is, it is also related to isthmus. But Landin is half of L is half of H. So midpoint. Midpoint of isthmus. Coming to McDonald sign. That diagram which has a straw. So easy flexibility of uterus over the cervix is McDonnell. Coming to Goodell. Uh, the center two O's are like cervix. So Goodell sign is softening of cervix. Then uh, there is one sign called placental sign which is cyclical bleeding occurring up to 12 weeks of pregnancy. Coming to Jack Wimmer and Chadwick, uh, that JCB blue colored one, that toy. So Jack Wimmer and Chadwick is bluish discoloration. And Oceander, Darf meaning fear. Fear is for pulsations felt throughout the lateral fornices. This also occurs at 8 weeks. So that's all guys. This is a short video of all the signs of pregnancy. If there is any further update or any further uh, correction, you can please let me know in the comment section. So I think I have rectified all the mistakes that I have done in the last video. And here's a question. Uh, a dusky hue of the vestibule and the anterior vaginal wall seen at 8 weeks of pregnancy is what sign? So a dusky hue meaning bluish discoloration. So blue means JCB, right? So Jack Kimmer Chadwick blue. So Chadwick is the answer here. Uh, Remaining signs are Hager sign which occurs at 6 weeks that is isthmus one. Goodell sign is cervix softening one. And Pisca sex is pitch good due to the lateral implantation. So these are the kinds of questions that you get from this topic. Thank you. Please do like, share and subscribe to the content. And you can ask your topics of difficulty on the Telegram channel. The links to which are provided in the description below.